Sports movies are never just sports movies. They're tales of the little guy taking on the corporate Goliaths and grown-up rich kids and beating them at their own rigged game. But the great ones always make you want to stand up and do the wave in the theater. And we brought to you the top 10 greatest movies of all time to do just that. Before we begin with the video, make sure to give a like and subscribe if you don't want to miss more fun videos like this. Number 10, Miracle, 2004. All-star teams fail because they rely solely on the individual's talent. The Soviets win because they take that talent and they use it inside a system that's designed for the betterment of the team. Miracle is a 2004 sports film directed by Gavin O'Connor, and it stars Kurt Russell, Patricia Clarkson, and Noah Emmerich. Led by a legendary performance, this inspiring sports story stuns the audience, with the inspiring story of the team that transcended its sport and united a nation with a new feeling of hope. Based on the true story of one of the greatest moments in sports history, we witness how the Cold War is set on ice when the U.S. hockey team's coach, Herb Brooks, takes on a bunch of college kids to win against the massive Soviet Union team at the Olympic Games. Number 9, Southpaw, 2015. Nonetheless, you have chosen to demonstrate dangerous behaviors while having custody of your daughter. Dad? We need help, Billy. Oh. Southpaw is a 2015 sports drama film directed by Antoine Fuqua and stars Jake Gyllenhaal, Forrest Whitaker, and Rachel McAdams. The reigning junior middleweight boxing champion Billy Hope has an impressive career, a loving wife and daughter, and a lavish lifestyle. However, when tragedy strikes, Billy hits rock bottom, losing his family, house, and manager. He soon finds an unlikely savior in Tick Willis, a former fighter who trains the city's toughest amateur boxers. Hope fights to reclaim the trust of those he loves the most with his family on the line and sets out to get his life back on track. Number 8, Million Dollar Baby, 2004. Gonna wanna train a girl? This is the latest freak show out there. But the only trouble is they're gonna be wasting your time because you're too old. Million Dollar Baby is a 2004 sports drama film directed by Clint Eastwood and stars Hilary Swank and Morgan Freeman in leading roles. A veteran Los Angeles boxing trainer, Frankie Dunn, keeps almost everyone at arm's length except his old friend and associate, Eddie Dupree, Morgan Freeman. When a young woman arrives in Frankie's gym seeking his expertise, he is reluctant to train her. Still, his past mistakes haunt him and he starts his quest for atonement by eventually helping an underdog amateur boxer. By achieving her dream of becoming a professional, the two form a close bond that irrevocably changes them both. Number 7, I, Tanya, 2017. You know what? Maybe I would. What can you tell us about Tanya Harding? I don't know a Tony Harding. <laughs> I, Tanya is a 2017 biographical film directed by Craig Gillespie and stars Margot Robbie, Sebastian Stan, and Allison Janney. In 1991, talented figure skater Tanya Harding becomes the first American woman to complete a triple axel during a competition. Her world comes crashing down when her ex-husband conspires to injure Nancy Kerrigan, a fellow Olympic hopeful, in a poorly conceived attack that forces the young woman to withdraw from the national championship. Harding's life and legacy instantly become tarnished as she's forever associated with one of the most infamous scandals in sports history. Number 6, Cinderella Man, 2005. I can't afford to pay the heat. I've had to farm out my kids. You know, they keep cutting shifts down at the docks and you just don't get picked every day. Cinderella Man is a 2005 biographical sports drama film directed by Ron Howard and stars Russell Crowe, Renee Zellweger, and Paul Giamatti. This true story of an athlete on his way to achieving his most tremendous success yet showcases the many odds and challenges of his life that stood against him. During the Great Depression, ex-boxer James J. Braddock worked as a day laborer until his former manager, Joe Gould, Paul Giamatti, offered him a one-time slot against a rising young contender. After he wins a shocking upset, Braddock goes back into the ring full-time against the wishes of his frightened wife. Dubbed the Cinderella Man for his rags-to-riches story, Braddock sets his sights on the defending champion, the fearsome Max Bayer. Number 5, Creed, 2015. These are the keys to my stang right here. Adonis, get out the ring. All you gotta do is land one clean headshot. What well, I gotta put up for? Creed is a 2015 sports drama film directed by Ryan Coogler and stars Michael B. Jordan, Sylvester Stallone, Tessa Thompson, and Felicia Rashad. 
This movie is a spin-off and sequel to the Rocky film series and follows the life of Adonis Johnson, who never knew his father was a famous boxing champion, Apollo Creed, who died before Adonis was born. However, boxing is in his blood, so he seeks out Rocky Balboa, Sylvester Stallone, and asks the retired champ to be his trainer. Rocky sees much of Apollo in Adonis and agrees to mentor him, even as he battles an opponent deadlier than any in the ring. With Rocky's help, Adonis soon gets a title shot, but does he have the true heart of a fighter? Number 4, The Wrestler, 2008. I'm very grateful to be here. A lot of people told me that I'd never wrestle again. The Wrestler is a 2008 sports drama film directed by Darren Aronofsky. It stars Mickey Rourke, Marissa Thomas, and Evan Rachel Wood with a superb performance that made actor Mickey Rourke an icon in the film industry. Aging wrestler Randy Robinson is long past his prime, but still ready to go on the pro wrestling circuit. After a particularly brutal beating, however, Randy hangs up his tights, pursues a serious relationship with a stripper, and tries to reconnect with his estranged daughter. But he can't resist the lure of the ring and readies himself for a comeback. The most undesirable part of him is that he is stuck in a meaningless life. But when a tragic incident hit him, he must question what a meaningful life even means. Number 3, Rush, 2013. Rush is a 2013 biographical sports film directed by Ron Howard and stars Chris Hemsworth, Daniel Brühl, Olivia Wilde, and Alexandra Maria Laura. In the mid-1970s, charismatic English playboy James Hunt and Austrian perfectionist Nikki Lotta share an intense rivalry in Formula One racing. Driving vehicles that are little more than gas-filled, rolling bombs, Hunt and Lotta burn up the track, all while pushing themselves to the breaking point of a physical and mental endurance. Meanwhile, the women in their lives can only watch as both drivers risk death with every lap. Both drivers are willing to risk everything to become the champion in a sport with no margin for error. If you make a mistake, you die. Number 2. The World's Fastest Indian, 2005 The World's Fastest Indian is a 2005 New Zealand biographical sports drama film directed by Roger Donaldson and stars Anthony Hopkins, Diane Ladd, and Jessica Coffeyville. Defined by an incredible performance by Anthony Hopkins, New Zealander Bert Munro spends years perfecting his classic Indian motorcycle. In the year 1967, Bert takes his machine to Utah's Salt Flats where he attempts the impossible, using his dream bike to set a new world record for speed. This fast-paced true story explores a man never giving up on one big dream of doing something meaningful in an engaging comedic race. Based on a true story, the record Munro set more than three decades ago still has not been broken to this day. Number 1. Warrior, 2011 <laughs> Warrior was released in 2011 and it is a sports drama film directed by Gavin O'Connor and stars Tom Hardy, Joel Edgerton, and Nick Holt. Director Gavin O'Connor manages to make it more than just a sports movie with his phenomenal direction. The film takes you on an emotional journey and gets the audience hooked with its powerful and touching plot. An estranged family finding redemption in the unlikeliest of places, the MMA ring. Tommy, an ex-marine with a tragic past, returns home and enlists his father, a recovering alcoholic and former wrestling coach to train him for Sparta the biggest MMA tournament ever held. But when Tommy's underdog brother, Brendan, fights his way into the tournament, the two brothers must finally confront each other and the forces that pulled them apart. That's it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you disagree with our list, please give us your opinion in the comment section below and subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and turn on post notifications to see more of our future uploads. Be sure to subscribe to Series Pulse for more top 10 videos.